Hello, my friends. May God bless you all wherever you are in the name of the Lord Jesus. That the light of the Holy Spirit may enlighten your understanding. Today we have a different program, a very current topic. Today we will speak about how to identify bad pastors. Yes, how to identify bad pastors. We will give 10 signs for you to identify bad pastors. And why is it important to know? Pay attention to this word of the Lord Jesus. Look what he said. Jesus rebuking the scribes and Pharisees, he said, But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. Who were scribes and Pharisees? They were the religious leaders of the time who were responsible for conducting the people spiritually as well as the pastors today. When I say pastors, I include any and every religious leader. Jesus said, But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. Which means, these bad pastors, these bad leaders, neither enter the kingdom of heaven, nor let in those willing. Hence, the importance of learning to identify who these bad pastors are, these shepherds dressed as sheep, once in reality, what they want is everything but the salvation of your soul. It's important for you to mature in faith. And one of the signs of maturity in faith is to learn to fix your eyes only on the Lord Jesus, only on Him. He is the shepherd, pastor, and bishop of your soul. And every pastor and man of God will point to Jesus, not himself. How to identify bad pastors? This is important because if you follow the voice of the bad pastor, you will deviate from the right path, lose your salvation, lose your faith. And we must warn you as the Lord Jesus warned about the bad pastors. We will mention a few warnings that he also gave. So, there are 10 signs that you must use to identify the bad pastors. Let's speak about the first sign. Let's go. The bad shepherd abandons the flock, the sheep. The Lord Jesus spoke about this. Look what he said. Jesus spoke about the good shepherd. If there is the good one, so the bad one also exists. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. Thank God for the good shepherd. Thank God. The universal church, I cannot speak on behalf of the other churches, in its majority is made out of good shepherds men of God, married with women of God, people who have been giving their lives for the sheep. I have been finding these pastors, colleagues from Brazil, the world, wherever I have been traveling to, where I had the honor to share at times the same home with these pastors. So we see many good shepherds that have been giving their lives literally placing the sheep of the flock of the Lord Jesus above their own life. They left their family, their homeland, they left everything, their personal dreams, and went to answer the call of the ministry, whether in another country or a distant place, they went and there they are fulfilling this call. They are good shepherds, giving their lives for the sheep, which is one of the signs of a good shepherd. But Jesus says, but a hireling, or in another translation, mercenary, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. 
So one of the signs of the bad shepherd is that he abandons the sheep because what he really wants is to take care of his own life, his own interests. Therefore, if something contradicts his well-being, his own interests, what does he do? He leaves the flock. He abandons the sheep, the flock, and says, I will take care of my own life. Jesus calls this shepherd, who is not a shepherd, a hireling, mercenary. That is, he is a merchant. And he is more interested in the milk and wool of the sheep than in the sheep itself. And God calls this pastor worthless. That in Zechariah says, Woe to the worthless shepherd who leaves the flock. The man of God in the world of the navy, the marine, the captains who sail through the oceans have a code. The code is, the captain is the last to abandon the ship. If he cannot save all, put all in safety, he drowns with the ship. He does not jump ship because he's the captain, the responsible for the passengers, the safety of the passengers. Well. If the captain of a vessel has this type of responsibility towards the passengers, imagine the man of God, imagine the pastor. How can someone be called a pastor and abandon the flock? That's why God calls them so-called pastor worthless and tells them, woe. And when God says, woe, it's because it's serious. So this is the first sign the bad shepherd abandons the flock of God. They leave the sheep with the wolves and he goes to take care of his own life. So if someone abandoned the flock, you know what type of pastor he is. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.